Hi everyone, welcome to Math 115. I'm your instructor. So I'm on Canvas for a course here. So I'm gonna go over the main features of the course. So this is a face-to-face -face class. Uh, so you're expected to attend class in person during the scheduled class meeting times. In order to participate in the class, you'll need access to a device with a camera that can connect to the internet, smartphones fine, uh, as well as a pair of headphones. This class is gonna be taught as a flipped class, which means students will be actively engaging with the material during each class. So each day of class will consist of either a lecture period or a quiz period. And uh, each day, uh, so yeah. So during the lecture period, students will have 24 hours to work on a set of lecture questions that will be posted on Canvas. Uh, so our first, uh, for example, our first lecture period We'll start on Sunday, January 7th at 10, 15 a.m. And we'll end on Monday at 12, 20 p.m. So during the lecture period, students can earn extra credit points by posting correct, a correct answer for lecture question within the time frame. Uh, so during our scheduled class meeting times, so it's gonna be on Monday, Wednesdays from 10, 15 a.m. to 12, 20, I'll be going over the solutions and uh, doing many lectures, going over solutions and answering student questions. And I'm gonna be sending the class numerous emails each week, so you need to make sure you check your email on a regular basis. Okay, see, here's how you can contact me. This uh, how to contact professor. Well, you'll, you'll see me in class at the scheduled time, but also you can email me. You can come to my office hours. And you can post questions on Ask Your Professor on Canvas, and I'll respond to those also. Okay, how I communicate with students. Well, I'll be in class, and then email, and, and then office hours. Okay, so let's go over the syllabus briefly here. So this class is going to meet uh, from on Monday, Wednesdays from 10.15 a.m. to 12.20 in Yoshida Hall, 158. Here's my email address. And uh, office hours are on my, if you click on uh, how to contact professor, it will give you a link to my office hours. So you can look at those. Let's see, oops, go back to syllabus. So everything you need for this course will be will be provided on Canvas for free. So there's no need to, to buy anything for this course. There's an intro stats class, and here's the course description. You can look at that. Course modality, as I've already mentioned, it's a face-to-face -face class, but it's going to be taught as a flip class. Okay, uh, end of the lecture periods. Actually, disregard this date is wrong. Should be Sunday, uh, January 7th at 10.15, uh, I'll, I'll fix that. And here is a video on what, you, what, what to, do, to do at the beginning of each lecture period and how to participate during a lecture period. I'll be going uh, over this in class also on the first day of class. So attendance, so if you do miss more than two classes, I may drop you from the course, but don't assume that I will drop you from the course. So if you wanna drop the course, make sure you drop it. And let's see, attendance, I'll be, I'll be passing a sign-in sheet around. You can also take attendance on Canvas, but you'll have to also sign in uh, on the sign-in sheet in class. Okay, quizzes. There's gonna be a total of 13 quizzes throughout the semester, and you can drop your lowest quiz score, and you'll have 24 hours to complete each quiz, and it'll be 1% penalty for every minute your quiz is late. And here's a video on how to take a quiz. 
You should look at that. Academic integrity. So before each before you take each quiz, you're going to have to sign a contract stating you will not cheat during the quiz. And here's a video on how you can submit that contract. In addition to uh, quizzes, there's also going to be assignments. So there'll be 13 assignments throughout the semester. And you'll have a few days or about a week to complete each assignment. And each, the assignments are like little mini projects. And you, you can drop your lowest assignment score, and it'll be a 10% penalty for every day your assignment is late. And your grade will be made up 50% will be from quizzes and 50% from assignments. So you can see there's no, I don't collect homework here. Okay, so your all your points will be from the quizzes and assignments. Like as assignments are like homework. Okay. Grading policy is just standard. Tutoring services. So if you need additional help, you can go to the Learning Center. But I suggest you come to my office hours first. Okay. Course objectives, you can look at those. Study tips, you can look at those. So if you need an accommodation to participate in this class, let me know. Email me and let me know, and we can work something out. Student, student resources, you can look at that. But here's a link to some resources. Important dates, you can look at that. So here's the, uh, the schedule at the bottom here. So on the first day of class, we'll be doing module one. Second day of class, we'll continue doing module one. And it looks like on the 15th, there's no class. And then that Wednesday, the 17th, we'll have our first quiz and your assignment will also be due on that day. So you can see each week then, uh, there's usually a quiz and assignment due all the way through the semester. It's like there's 30 days and the last day, your last quiz and assignment will be due. Okay, so let's go back to the homepage now for a second. Also, if you do click on the start here button, it takes you to, takes you to the video that you're watching right now. Okay, so, so suppose it's day one. So you come to class. Uh, so then when, you, when, you're, when you're in class, to access the, the material, you're gonna do, you're gonna click on what to do each day of class. This will take you to the same schedule that's at the bottom of the syllabus. So everything's laid out. So suppose it's day one. So you're gonna click on module one. So at the top, I give you the objectives. And then below, there's some notes. If you click on that, I'll be going over these notes during class. So like lecture notes. Uh, and then below that, you have a practice quiz. Actually, there's more. If you, want, if you need additional practice, there's some uh, additional practice here. Below that, there's a practice quiz. So the practice quiz, if you scroll down here, you'll see it has four questions. Your actual quiz will look similar to this. And then at the top of the quiz, there's links to videos of me going over each of the questions. So the first one there, if you click on that video, it would take you to the me going over the solution of the first question. So you can watch those videos. Make sure you understand. I'll be going over questions, uh, going over Questions like this in class too. Okay, so then the first thing you'll do is take attendance. Again, I'll, I'll be passing a sign-in sheet, but you can also take attendance online, but you need to sign the sign-in sheet you're in class also. So if you click on right now, it's locked until January 7th. And then, oops, I close it. Uh, let's go back. Another way you can access the modules is by clicking modules over here in the uh, left corner. And click module one. Okay, so after you take attendance, then you're going to go to the student discussion. Again, it's locked. 
but uh, on January 7th, it will be at 10.15, after 10.15 a.m., it will be open. Uh, so again, it's uh, it's open 24 hours before the start of class. You don't need to do it then. You can wait until the class to do it. That's fine. But you have the option to do it a bit earlier. The question. Then you'll do lecture one, question one. Again, it's locked. So suppose, uh, let me just leave student view for a second so you can see what it'll look like. Say so lecture one, question one. So when you click on it on uh, January 7th after 10.15 a.m. Or, or January 8th at 10.15, it will look like this at the top. I uh, just talk about what we are covering and some dates coming up, like when the first quiz will be. Then below that, I start telling you to watch this video. OK, so you watch that video. Then you work on the question right here after you watch the video. Again, I'll be giving many lectures during class too. So I'll be going over questions like this. So after you watch, watch the video and I go over the mini lecture in class, you'll work on this question. So uh, then if you post the correct answer, looks like before the first 70 minutes of our first scheduled class meeting, you're going to get two extra credit points added to your, added to your quiz score. So how you're going to post your work is, you have a reply button at the bottom, don't use that one. Go to the top. And press reply. Then you're going to write your answer on a piece of paper. And then take a picture of it on your phone. And then press insert. I'm going to say image, upload image. Click on the rocket. Then choose your image. So I'll say, suppose this one's the image. Then below that, you have all text. You're going to write solution one, and then put your name, so student name. And then below that, you're going to choose display text link. If you don't, if you don't choose display text link, it's going to embed the image. So it'll be very hard for me to keep track of all the images that, that people post. So it's better if you uh, display the link. It's a bit easier for me to keep track of things. Then you're going to press submit. Okay. Then after that, you're going to press done or post reply. Now you're posted. So now I'll be able to see your answer and comment on it. If it looks good, I'll say it looks good. If it doesn't look good, I'll say, okay, fix question B and C or something. Then you go and fix it and repost it. Another way you could do it is take the question up here. And let me edit this guy down here. You can just post the whole question. And then beside each one, you can write the answer. For example, first one should be continuous. And you write the answer for the other ones below it. And you can post it that way too, just compress that, uh, done. And I can see your, see your work that way too. Okay, so that's the main things. I'll, I'll, I'll go over uh, more things in the first day of class. I'll talk more about things and an answer any questions you have. That's the, the, the gist of the course, how it's going to be run. Okay, so let's leave it there. So I'll see you guys on January 8th at 10.15 a.m. Okay, see ya.